my 15 year old who's the who's obsessed with scary mommy truly um and lectures me based on what you say all the time really got into this wonderful Holocaust survivor who's um, a, a psychiatrist, psychologist, I'm not sure, Edith e Eager, um, The Gift and the Choice. Those were really meaningful to me. A girlfriend recommended them. I loved Matthew McConaughey's um, book, you know, Green, Green Light, which is just so Matthew, but he's somebody who just drips Matthewisms and drips wisdom, and his stories are always so fun that, um, I don't know. I got a lot out of that. It just an accountability. He has an accountability to him. He just feels like, nope, this is the right thing to do. I'll tell you something about Matthew. Um, I know this is like has nothing to do with anything, but, but I'll tell you because this is a mom site. Um, when we were shooting Dallas Buyers Club, I it was my first job back after my third kid, and. I, it, it, Sam was seven or eight months old and I, um, no, eight or nine months old. And I almost didn't go back to work because I was so overwhelmed by three kids. That third kid really just kind of takes you right off the edge. And so I really just, I almost didn't make the movie. And when we first got there, um, I had made movies while I was pumping with like a lot. I had done a ton of movies. Like I remember in Valentine's Day, shooting in the airport and them setting up a little area right in the middle of the terminal and me pumping behind this curtain and just like, can anyone see? But I mean, I've definitely pumped all over the world, literally. Um, and so for this movie, we shot so fast, you know? I don't know if you remember it, but it was like an 18 day shoot and we just, it was so fast. There was never a camera set up for me to go and pump. I could never say to anyone, I need 10 minutes. So the first night we were shooting a scene that got cut because I screwed it up because I started crying and I couldn't stop. And Matthew, I just, it was bedtime for my kids. My boobs were filling up. I was in pain, I was engorged and I just wanted to be home. And I thought I never should have come back to work. I should have just stayed home. And he said, what is going on with you? Cause we we're already friends. And I said, I, my boobs are dying. And so he said, you know what? I'm gonna need a minute. And I went to the bathroom pumped enough to just take the pressure off. And from then on, anytime I needed to pump I would give him a sign and he would stop everything for me and give me the time to go and do And I just, I think for moms to know that you're gonna love them even more. I mean, I'll never forget, like, what a great guy, right? The last thing I wanted to do, these well, guys were not eating. The last thing I wanted to do was add time, but I couldn't, I wasn't just gonna wean my kid for, you know what I mean? It was like, what do I do, what do I do? And he took care of it for me and I'll never ever, I'll do anything for him from, you know, till the end of time.